if if they didn't go the whole like emo route with uh, to- Tobey Maguire or whatever. Yeah, like when he got the symbiote and stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, that it's just like tanked yeah, the franchise. It's like no, no. I have this page here: eleven Marvel movies coming, Phase Four, Five, and Beyond. So okay. Yeah. Well, Love and Thunder is the first okay. one. This is in order. So that's coming next. Yep. Wakanda Forever, that's in November of this year. Okay. At Man of the Wasp, Quantum Mania, February 23rd of next year. Okay. Whoa. Oh, the Galaxy 3, wow. uh, May of next year. The Marvels, yeah. July 28th of 2023. Okay. Fantastic Four, unknown. Okay. Blade, unknown. Captain America 4, unknown. What? Yeah, so this is Anthony Mackie, Anthony Mackie, so Falcon playing. Like playing it, okay, okay. So Cool, I was going to say, like, well, I mean, Chris Evans is pretty much done, so. Deadpool 3, unknown. Shang-Chi 2, unknown. Spider-Man 4, that's I unknown. really liked Shang-Chi. I did, too. I had, I honestly, so, like, I didn't see it in theaters, and I kind of slept on it. Yeah, I had no I, expectations for yeah, it. Yeah, but then I watched it, I was like, that's a really freaking good movie. I so, really enjoyed it. One thing, you know the bus fight scene in the beginning uh-huh. of the, the thing? So there's the yeah. MTV Awards, right? You know the show, show Euphoria? Uh-huh. There was one award thing for best fight. Mm-hmm. Euphoria won over that and the three Spider-Man team up against Sandman. What? Yeah. Well. Yeah. There, there, there's a reason I don't watch award shows, man. Like, <laughs> that would just, like, make me very angry. I would have... I, if I would have been watching that live, I would have punched my TV. Like, Euphoria beating Shang Chi in yeah, the bus and Shang, then the three Spider Man. Because Sh- Shang Chi, oh, that was a, that was well well choreographed. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was cool. It was a great fight scene. Really, I like how it tied back to Iron Man three with the Mandarin. That was yep. sick. Mm-hmm. That was sick. Yeah, it was great. Like, and was, uh, and Ben Kingsley coming back oh and playing gosh. that, I mean, he just like nailed it. He's such a good actor. Like, like ben dude, dude's hilarious. Like, I, I freaking love that character too. But it's mm. just, I don't know. I think, um, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it, it doesn't get messed up. But that, my my biggest worry is that like, I mean, because Disney's not done great with Star Wars. No, they have taken right. That. John Favreau has. Yeah, he's doing he's doing great. I need to catch up on episode five. You know, but I haven't watched it yet. Since there's one episode left after this, I'm gonna just go to totally watch game one. Me too. Together. Me too. Yeah, because like I haven't, I haven't watched the next one, so I've gotta like go back and, and like. Well, yeah, I haven't seen episode five, so I'll just do uh, the next two, just kind of binge them both. One through three are pretty good, but four is just another episode just for a heads up on that. It's not very good. Really? Oh, yeah, it's not very good. It's unfortunate. But the, every show is going to have to have a fill Oh, yeah, yeah. So. You're going to have something. Except Stranger Things. Holy cow. I haven't watched that yet. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen so season good. four yet. It's so good. Really? Oh, my gosh. Like, the next volume two is only two episodes, but one's like an hour and a half. The other one's like Dang. two and a half hours. So they're pretty, pretty good size. Oh, pretty yeah. chunky episodes. But I think the first eight in uh, uh, volume one is, I think they're all about 45 to an hour. Dang, that's awesome. It's it's such a good sh- It's so good. So but like, do not let him watch. Like it oh is, no! It is extremely bad. Like worse than one through three combined. Like oh wow! It is bad. Cool. Yeah, I already know that. Yeah. Like if they watch it, I'm going straight to my room. Yeah, you you'll have nightmares for about a year. <laughs> nice. About a year. So I watched. Ooh. So you know what the crazy thing? Like I watched oh, season yes, one through I three really? of uh, of Stranger Things over the course of like one week. <laughs> So like no joke. So I was it was a week I was working all twelves at the, at the state hospital all graveyard shifts. Oh my God. So I just like watched that for like a week straight. Yeah, just all night, just just watching it or whatever. Um, I had a nightmare for a long So time. Isaac showed me this at the family reunion yesterday. Mm-hmm. Do you have this? It's a beta. You can play all your Xbox games from your phone. Really? So I can connect my Xbox controller to my phone huh. and play like Fortnite, Madden, like anything. Warzone? I think so. There's That's no cool. Apex on here yet, but since it's just a beta. But That's tomorrow at work, cool. I'm going to take my controller, set my phone up, and just be calling people and be like, hey, what's up? How you doing this day? Oh, yeah. That's but awesome. That mean, that, that gives me time to work on Arkham Knight, too, because nice. that, that game is fun. I love Arkham Knight. I had, I had a nightmare the cool. first time I watched Star Wars. Yeah, so like Halo, Among Us, Halo, or not Halo. Yeah, both Halos. That's the Master Chief Collection. That's going to be fun to play on my phone. But you have to go through a website, so look up Xbox Cloud Game, I think. Because, yeah, I mean, if I could Because I can, and on Apple, I can add, like, websites to, a, like, a tab on my phone, so it goes through here. Let's go. Like, there's a Mori on Xbox, for the five, to get to the two, and we'll succeed, and there'll be a show. But it's through, uh, it's through Game Pass, though, right? Mm-hmm. Well, Game Pass Ultimate. 
Yeah, because I've got ultimate loot. Best playing screen, please use a supported browser. What's a supported browser? Probably like Safari or something. I got, I got an Android, so I'm using a Chrome. I got, yeah, I, I use Safari. It was fun, but, but, but gaming beta, when this hits like market, it's gonna be fun. Oh, that's cool. Like, I just watch YouTube videos while I'm talking to people. I watch oh, yeah. videos all day. Oh, yeah. You gotta have your entertainment and everything. One guy, he watches, like, movies and stuff. Yeah, see, I do, uh... Oh, training um, limit! Check this out! Training Oh, that's game. Oh, but that one guy looks uh, like in the floor. How much? Nice. For the first time. Nice. Right on Monday I had five, and then I just kind of tanked after that. But Friday I had an upgrade, the first call. I only had two sales mm -hmm. that day. Upgrade the first call, upgrade the last call. So mm -hmm. that day was awesome. But nice. I kind of want my standard to be like ten a week, ten k a week. That's not bad. But I kind of want to break. For the month, I think I'm, even for being gone for two weeks, I think I'm still the top person. Nice. That's good. Heck, you got it. Uh, just got to keep going for it. Yeah, my boss is like, yeah, I'm probably going to be moving you somewhere to make like, like, six. Oh, yeah. probably be with you. Oh, yeah, come on. You guys make six, right? Yeah. yeah. Come over to, come over and uh, be a phone solicitor. <laughs> good. <laughs> well, well, essentially, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, like, that's like what I do, but. Let's go. So good. So do you, when you get on the phone, can you tell if it's like a completely ice cold call or can you, is it usually oh, yeah. never like that? Oh yeah, you can tell. You can tell like when someone like really wants you to talk to them. Mm -hmm. And I always ask them like, did I catch you at a good time? I like, give them an out. Yeah. Just in case they do because then it's like, yeah, that way neither of us are wasting our time. That's true. Because if you get on the call and like, like three minutes into it, after you get them into your intro and stuff, right. like I have to go, you're like, mm -hmm. I always see the potential. So. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. So it just takes, uh, it just takes so long. But, but the thing I like with my department is I can't give them that out because, like, they already know who I am. They have right, right, right. Their home. Yeah, yeah. So that, well, that's nice. But I mean, I don't know. But my commission rate is not very good compared to yours. Yeah, so I, I also get paid sixteen, so it kind of evens. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you get paid, you get paid twice as much as I do hourly. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was supposed to get paid the same as you with the night Really? Oh wow, that's so nice. I went into it like. Um, Basically, I was going to be on the referrals team, but then they changed. They kind of combined the referrals team and the upgrades team together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they are department. And I really, really like it. See, I just do, uh, um, I just do, like, uh, uh, as, far, as far as, like, like visiting with folks, it's not bad. They're just talking? Like, just talking. They just tell you the stuff, like, I mean, uh, as long as I can, like, make sure I get the right kind of calls in. So, like, I mean, Saturday I sold eight. Like eight thousand. No, no, eight, eight new accounts. How much is that? Yeah. Total cost. Like thirty-two grand, give or take. So something like that. Gosh, dang. Like I mean, it obviously, it depends on the size of the account. That's but, true. You know, like, but that's but like, still a panel is what two grand, basically, like a starter kit. Technically, uh, it's twenty-one. Like uh, ish. Well, it's like. Well, it depends on like what they want. Yeah. Like, and obviously, you, like like build it out. Like, I mean, because like my commission is based on how much they pay monthly. Um, so I mean, just to, to, like with any of them. But I mean, like building it out typically, yeah, you're looking at about um, like about thirty five hundred uh, four, about thirty five hundred maybe four Gs a piece, give or take size of, size of the size of the account. So average RMR I see is about. 35, 39. Mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. What, how do you get paid off of their RMR? What's the percentage? Like, this is what they have. Oh. A 50, if they have a 59 or 99, they have a $60 oh. RMR. Oh. Well, like, that, that's that's terrible for me. That's terrible? If someone gets, like, 59, 59 bucks, I'm making, like, 40, maybe 35. So the lower the RMR, the more you get paid, or the higher but the RMR? The higher the RMR, the higher I get paid. Oh, okay. Because I, because it's the upset. It's in, it's in some, I mean, it's just, it's just based on, like, how much someone will spend, but I think, uh, like, at, at the end of the day, though, like, I, I try to, um, I mean, you cover all the avenues that, they're, that they, that they want to cover, things that they worry about, and all that kind of stuff, but I think it's just a, uh, um, uh, 
I don't know. Just make sure people get rid of me. But I, can you, I, uh, me, can you do me a favor and just uh -huh. like leave one little thing out for them so I can I can get it when they come when I call into them? Nah, bro, that hits <laughs> that hits my bottom line. I take care of my bottom line. That's true, but I love it when they have like four in they have like yes. five cameras, but like only two on the outside. I'm like, hey, let's let's get you some on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because like, oh, yeah, from, from an upgrade standpoint. Oh yeah, yeah. But I just uh, I don't know for as far as uh, like. Like, uh, like RN, but yeah, you should you should come over and work, work with us. The one thing I'm excited for, I have a list of like 30 people. For the day. You know what's coming out in July, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing that starts with an S. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so excited. For that. Oh, yeah. Like when we got the new cameras and then the smart drive came out, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, we were selling things like hotcakes, dude. Like it was so good. But then kind of teetered off a little better than everybody. It's like, oh yeah, I heard about this. And like, I don't know why the text is coming about this. We don't have it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can put you down on the list. And I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm like, sweet. Yeah, give you a call right yes. when it comes out. Yep. Yeah. That'll be a big game, too. That'll be a giant mistake. Mm -hmm. They're not too bad, but the yes. technology in them. I was watching this video. Mm -hmm. and I thought, you have the product call, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I was watching that video. I'm like, this is sick. Like how it tracks you when you get too close to something yep. that flashes. I mm -hmm. love that. Yep. I love that. Oh, yeah. So I'm, uh, yeah, on, on our end, they, they just kind of gave us the, the uh, uh, just the, the article about it, but like, I kind of wish they would do that because when we got the cameras, we didn't really know anything about that. I think I told some people some wrong things at first. But Potentially. Live and learn. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. I like I like newer things, but maybe I'm, I just kind of get in the, the habit of doing it. But I think uh, um, it's not too bad. I. I don't know. I kind of, kind of kicked myself when, uh, when I went to go work at the hospital. I actually applied to work where Tanner's working right now. Where's Tanner? Are you working at Avalanche, right, Tim? Uh, yeah. You well, remotely. remotely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I applied, I applied for the, uh, the same gig or through the same agency that Tanner went through. Um, and they, they got back to me after I got my job at the hospital. I, oh. I'd, I'd had the job for like four months. Because I'd applied mm -hmm. right when I, I applied for them at the same time as I applied at the hospital. But then I got the job at the hospital, and it was like, well, okay, I already got my benefits or whatever, so I, I just emailed the lady back. I was like, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I already got a job, so sorry. But um, that would have been Ooh. fun, though. Oh, look at that! That was a lot of, that was a lot of XP right there. But I got a uh, um, mega flare. Nice. Oh, this is oh. gonna be uh, also very useful. Love it. This is gonna be one giant explosion. Oh. So Mushu and two fires, but uh, I I really wish I would have done that. That way I could work on Hogwarts Legacy. That'd be fun. Yeah, but then again, you would also be under strict NDA. <laughs> like you, you can't really talk about what, what is an NDA, but just like kind of a suggestion. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that be that is uh, that is not online. that that is 100 not the case, kids. <laughs> Um, you have an NDA YouTube Oh, okay. Shut. This is going to be right. a long YouTube Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's the, uh, um, I don't know. I, uh, I kind of wish I would have done it, but, but at the same time, you know, it wasn't a bad gig, so. But now the, uh, the Border Patrol sending me emails, like, offer me, like, recruitment bonuses and stuff. So. They they told me that like, hey if you uh, if you sign on with us again we'll give you five thousand dollars towards or five thousand dollars if you complete training or whatever. They were oh. like telling me that I was like oh, oh yeah, slide master you got a trophy. I th if I learned every slight possible oh, now, well, there you go. you're a master. Three fiery tornadoes appear around sword damage. That's a good one. That's a lot of damage. But I think that uh, as far as um, games go. If there was a if there was a game that I think I'd want to do testing for, Gears of War, Ooh. whatever the newest one is, you good? I would do it. I love uh, uh, Gears Five. I had a really good time with that one. Um, but uh, that's been my one of my favorite franchises on the Xbox. Is it on Game Pass? Because I really want to try it. Five? Yeah, five is. Okay. Is that a good? Do I have? Dude, to I'd, I'd play. I would play all of them. You would start with Gears One and then go through. Yep, yep. I, I just need a good campaign because like I'm waiting for the next Fallen Order to come out. That's yeah. gonna be so. Oh yeah, that's fun. gonna be way fun. Like Star Wars, I'm excited for Star Wars Eclipse. Like that's gonna be a while though. 
I, you not seen that? No, no. Uh, oh, I haven't seen anything gosh. on that. That game looks. I'll show you the trailer. No, I mean, I mean, I saw, I saw the one uh, or the kind of the teaser stuff for uh, Fallen Order Two. Like I saw that or whatever, whatever that one's gonna be called. But I saw that, but I didn't see any oh my uh, Star Wars Eclipse. I'll show you the video for it. It looks like a movie. Like it looks. Because I, I really, um, see, I downloaded the like a Star Wars, like not pass, but a, uh, like, a bundle on the Switch that's, like, uh, um, it's all your, uh, um, it's, like, what is that one called? Not Fallen or what, is, oh, my gosh. Oh, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, the uh, Old yeah, Republic. yeah, it had, it had that in it. I never played that when it came out for the GameCube. I saw that um, today in the mall, in the Aura Mall, no, Provo Mall, University Mall. Mm -hmm. There is a new store, like, antique store. Mm -hmm. And they have some good stuff in there, like Atari really? games. Like, I went in there today, I bought the original Tobey Maguire on VHS for 99 cents. It nice. was awesome. And they had all the old Indiana Jones on VHS. Huh. I was just like, this is so nostalgic. Like, it looked, it was so much fun. Awesome. It was Meanwhile, awesome. in the floor below us. So, Riku's basically just, like, dead, right? So he's a... Yeah, so oh so you're just getting a, like a little flashback of like what's going on below you. It's not, nice. not really a flashback, it's just yeah. more literally more of a meanwhile elsewhere, some oh other God. stuff is happening. I'm looking at the Star Wars Eclipse release date mm -hmm. 2027 or 2028. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a minute. That'll be like the next 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 gen console. Oh yeah. The Xbox but the Series uh, 1 X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Next box. The next box. Next box. <laughs> I like that. That's what they should call it. Better better name than um, Xbox One X. Right, right. Like they're just running out or, of places to put an X. Series X. It's, it's gonna be a Z Z box. They're gonna have so many X's. It's gonna make the Z sound. It's gonna be the X E Z Z box. Z box. Z box. Z box. Z box. <laughs> so we're gonna do put put so many X's in there. It's gonna we're gonna do that. It'll just be a. Uh, um, a Kingdom Hearts edition because it's got all the X's in it, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know. I My so, so I, I've been I've been thinking about this lately. So like next gen consoles right now, and like with what uh, Unreal Engine Four can do, or Unreal Engine Five. Five, five yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like how realistic literally every aspect of that that game engine is. It's like okay, there's so much stuff going on there. And like just the like graphics and, and everything like that. Oh, so I I saw this really funny meme. I should have screenshot it and sent it to you guys. It's like uh, uh, us in the '90s. Oh wow, the graphics are so realistic on this game. And it's like the graphics. It's like a tiger, a picture of a tiger, but the tiger's a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that and it was like it was freaking awesome because it was just like it was like wow because like back then. Like when we were playing uh, Ocarina of Time, it's like, wow, it looks so good, right? Like, like I remember when that came out. Well, these graphics were amazing at the time. Well, yeah, but like I think about that now, and like, what would we look back at at Unreal Engine Five, uh, Xbox Series X, PS Five, like those graphics, and be like, holy crap, I can't believe we thought those realistic graphics were that real. Like, I don't know how much more real you can get. You can see like beads of sweat on someone's yeah. face. Like, I mean, I don't know how you get more realistic than that. Where is it? 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 Uh, this one. All right. Okay, don't go on the floor. Don't go on the floor. You! Nope, get back here. Oh, nice. I think that would work better with, like, larger groups of enemies. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to save that one. If you shoot. No, 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 no. But, um, like, I've been thinking about it. I feel like next next gen or like like Tanner said next box uh, I really feel like it's gonna go more VR AR type stuff that's that's my bet I mean I know that um, a lot of companies have tried to do more uh, VR stuff so I mean like PlayStation you know, they've got their own their own VR setup um, I mean the the oculus is great and everything but wait until they actually partner with like uh, Xbox or PlayStation, something like that, to like really, really make uh, make VR awesome. 
And, but, but I've been thinking about it because, I mean, I, I like playing VR and I have fun with it, but there's something different about, because when, when I'm playing VR, there's the possibility of getting motion sick, for me at least, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, like, and maybe that, maybe I'm an old fuddy-duddy, right? That might be it. But at the end of the day, uh, I feel like it's much more common than, like, someone playing a game like this, what, like how we are right now, looking at it on a TV and getting motion sick. Right, like there's almost no way. I mean, like there's some games oh, like Mario motion. Galaxy. Well, yeah, yeah. Like Mario Galaxy, that 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 one takes the cake for me, just because it's like you flip it. When you start messing with gravity like that, that really hurts. Um. All right, let's see this. Yeah, I'm just oh. doing. I'm not gonna use my fire attacks yet, just because there are these guys will just recover health. Those red guys. Word. Yeah, I think uh, I think the next thing will be some kind of VR. But to me, I so I have a uh, a bit of a theory on that. So you know how you're playing? We're playing this game. We have the TV on the screen right now, right? Yeah. I think that graphics are going to get so good that you can play on a screen within the screen. So VR headset. But you're playing as if you're sitting in a location with another screen in front of you, right? So, for example, let's say uh, someone doesn't can't afford to have a 80-inch TV, whatever that is. They can play on VR and have it look like that. That's that'd be cool, but right? Something something like that. I or th I think once we start getting into that type of thing, though, we're gonna be getting into like Ready Player One type situations. That's like, fine. Like um. What's the thing Facebook's developing right now? Metaverse. Metaverse. Yeah, that's where we're kind of like, really down. You know, load me into the Matrix, coach. Send me in. Like, you know how fun Call of Duty would be if it was like VR first person, like actually moving around like that. Have you seen those like walking pads that they have, yeah. like like where it's like a dish and you yeah. like strap in or whatever? Yeah. I yeah. I actually really like those, but I feel so like I would. Like <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I dude, I get so tired though. But exactly. Like think about it. You're like running around, jumping up, climbing, moving, like at, almost doing the whole movement on everything. I mean, that's why I think the augmented augmented reality will be the next thing because what you can do is you can have an almost endless game wherever you are. So let's say you go to a let's say you go to a park, right? If you can have a game system in an augmented reality thing where it creates the game around you as you're playing it in real life. But people are going to get hurt doing that. Oh, that's yeah! <laughs> like crazy! Somebody's going to run into the street. That's going to be the difficult part of Right. That. But I feel like that's going to be the step that we hit before something like uh, Metaverse or like Ready Player One type stuff kicks in. Yeah. Because I feel like we would have to move past that kick out, get all the and, out, and get the bugs out in something like that before... Uh, because then, because like right now, people would see something like the metaverse and be like, or like like a Ready Player One thing, and be like, holy crap, that's like a Ready Player One thing, yeah. right? Like, I'm not gonna do that. That's some some dystopian future stuff there. But I feel like if we the alternative was worse, I feel like if that was the case, then people would be just more way more into it, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I, but I don't know. I, it's kind of a kind of a weird uh, thing trying to figure out like next gen like stats or next gen. Uh, like what it's gonna look like just because it's kind of uh like i said graphics are so good anyway like that it's just not quite that it's kind of hard to predict like where it's gonna be but oh look okay here we go with the with mushu okay yeah those guys got really sturdy shields yeah they do okay let's do that but like um I mean, like I said, I like I like VR as much as the next guy, but like uh, a game. Uh, so like The Walking Dead, I think I've told you guys I got like way motion sick playing that one, but it is like completely immersive VR, yeah. right? Like every motion, every movement, you're it's you're so instead of like a point and shoot like where you move kind of thing, you move the joystick and you move. And your body moves, and I think that's what threw me off. So, like the Darth Vader one? Have you no, the, that one yet? the Darth Vader's awesome. That, one. that one's really good, but it, but it's point and oh, shoot, so like you move I, to that location, or I like the movement is a little bit to me a little bit easier. But like the Walking Dead one, it just 
killed me because I'm like moving with the joystick and it's like making me so freaking sick. This is not good. Just sit there and just hold it to the right and just get used to it. Just little G's. Like, but, but yeah, because then, then you move your head and you're walking this way and it just like, to me it tripped me out pretty hard. And like, I haven't, I've only played it like twice, like long term, because I thought, I thought the first time was like a glitch or like a, a, a bit of a, uh, um, like, I don't know, maybe a fluke, but no, no, it definitely makes me motion sick. <laughs> Oh, nice. But I think, um, I love, uh, I don't know, see, I'm, I'm a fan of the Ready Player One type stuff. Like, being able to, because, I mean, I grew up where our Ready Player One was the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Right, like, 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 that one, and then it's like, oh, that's cool. With the exception of, you know, the robots eating you and growing you for, for fuel. <laughs> I still haven't seen the Matrix. You've never seen the, like, the first ones? No. The first three? Never. So the first two were good. Third one. Third one. The new one? They could have, uh, the new one, I actually, so a lot of people didn't like it. I enjoyed it. You did? Yeah, I thought it was good. It was kind of a, kind of a retelling and kind of a, a shake-up of the whole, like, universe type thing. That's cool. And I, and I, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. I thought it was, like, really, really good. And I think there's a lot of stories they can tell from it. So I'm okay with that, because it's kind of almost a reboot. It is what it feels like to me, and it feels rebooted. But with, um... With the first three, they were really good. The first one specifically. That one was like... Like, I mean... Keanu Reeves, okay, oh, Star yeah. Basically, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, he was in, like, like Point Break and, uh, like, um... Let's see, what else was he in back then? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I still need to watch that. You haven't watched that one? Dude, dude, you're, you're missing out. You need to get yourself some Keanu, man. I need to get my... I need to get caught up on my favorite movies, like... What's a good movie? Full Metal Jacket. I want to watch Full Metal Jacket. I heard that's a good movie. That was pretty good. It... It's one of those that you like watch every ten years or so, and then like you don't watch it again for another ten years. <laughs> like it's like it's a good movie, but it's just not worth it to watch over. Yeah, I'm not. I I don't know. It, it was good, but it's not like something that I'd watch like every day. You know, it's pretty good, but there's like so much other cool stuff to watch. Yeah. Like I just love one movie though, like all those. Oh yeah. Stuff. Oh yeah. That one's that one's really good. Uh, but I think um. I mean, have you seen Band of Brothers? Nope. I think that's a really good one to watch. Uh, it's a great show. That one in the Pacific. Because yeah. the, I mean, the books that those two are based off of were are spectacular too. And the and the uh, TV shows HBO did a great job. Uh, I think making it very much like the books and very much like very true to the source material. Because like uh, the um, uh, like the one uh, Band of Brothers. I mean, it's written by uh, Stephen Ambrose, but like, uh, it was by like it was Dick Winters, uh, his uh, memoirs from the war. Oh, okay. So it was fantastic and like like oh. really really good to the good to the source material. But the, and like the Pacific, same same thing with uh, um, Eugene Sledge. It's yeah. Like they're like the both of the books that they're based off of are very accurate representations and really really good. Mm -hmm. But. I think, yeah, if you're going to watch it, I'd watch those. Band of Brothers. Oh, yeah, Band of Brothers and, uh, and the Pacific. Very, very accurate. I want to watch, um, I read the book Unbroken. I want to watch the movie Unbroken. I haven't seen it I haven't, seen, I haven't seen the movie Unbroken myself. I watched, I read the book. The book is, I love it. book's really good. Favorite book of all time. They go under the stairs. Oh, they do? Oh, okay, okay, I'll good. Them back. Sweet. Thanks, you guys, whatever you recording. Cool, you got it. Doodles. But, uh, I think, uh, um, like, like I said, I think I'd be down with, I'd be down with, like, Ready Player One type stuff, or, like, Matrixy type stuff. I'd upload, I'd upload my brain. Just upload like, your mind, because I just, to the I internet. think, well, oh, I should I think, I think we've talked about this before, like, yeah. like, uh, that, that scene in Inception, I don't know if you, if you remember it, but, like, they're, uh, they're trying to talk to that dude about, like, his new compound or whatever. I don't know if you remember remember that part, but like they go down in this basement and there's the the chemist guy. He's got like a whole bunch of people down there like sharing the same dream. Um, like it, it's been a while since oh, I've yeah. seen that movie. Yeah, but like there, there's that, and I think that's a really interesting concept, like being able to create a different reality, and. I feel like just going down layers in your brain is pretty freaking cool. Like, just that whole concept is awesome to me. 
Um, but then again, I really liked that movie. Um, I really liked Inception. I thought it was fun because, like, dream sharing or like doing that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, word. It's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Like, I think, um, yeah, In Inception was great. And, like, that doing that kind of a thing, like, I don't know if it, because that's where you start getting into, like, sharing consciousnesses. And I think that, uh, um, have you, uh, like, as far as, uh, like, what's it called? It's a uh, Neuralink. That's something that Elon Musk is working on. You know, to link your brain to the internet? Uh, Connect? No, I, you Dude, know, I'm all in on that, bro. I don't want everybody in the world to look into my mind. Well, but that's the thing. Everyone's going to do the thing. Yeah, there's no such thing as Yo, <laughs> privacy. No, but the, uh, um, uh, as far as the, um, like, being able to, like, upgrade, upgrade your brain, I think that's awesome. But then again, maybe that just comes from, like, watching The Matrix when I was younger. It's probably um, when you were younger. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, just some leftovers. But I, I, uh, I think that was, uh, that was awesome. Like, being able to go and do, uh, like, being able to go and, like, when Keanu Reeves comes out and he's like, I know Kung Fu, it's like, yeah, you do. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, like one of those things. Then you watch, well, you watch John Wick now and it's freaking awesome. Maybe that's how John Wick knew Kung Fu. He was I actually, so. he's, uh, he's, he's actually Neo, uh, Neo in another he's, life. He's, yeah, oh my gosh, that's going to get some meta stuff. Have you seen the John Wick movies? Uh, yes, I have. Dude. What's your favorite one? Oh man, that's hard to say. I think all three of them are freaking awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, the first one's awesome because it's like a dude just getting revenge for someone killing his dog. Oh, you wouldn't? No, I would. All the way. But that's, uh. uh that's awesome. Like, I love that movie. Um, but yeah, I think I'm excited for the fourth one to come out. When does that come out? Next year? I don't, probably. Probably, yeah, probably. I watched uh, the John Wick movies were one of those again where I watched them all like like in one night. In one night. Yeah, it was like it was like a John Wick binge. I mean, when you're sitting when you're sitting in the dark for twelve hours at a time in a mental hospital and you got nothing else to do to occupy your mind. Yeah. yeah you kind of find things to do. Oh yeah, John Wick was a great way to fill that. Oh, I bet. You're but like, I'm gonna try that on one of the inmates if they come up. Yeah, it's it's like. Throat punch, <laughs> but uh, like, uh, yeah, the um, the first Matrix. I mean, like, I found it, so I'm gonna watch it. The first Matrix. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, watch it for sure. But the, I think, um, Let me see if this was the first one. just the Matrix. The, just the Matrix. That's the one. That's the first one. Yeah, I don't think we have the second or the third one up here. I had to borrow those ones from Johnny. You did? Yeah, Johnny has them. Or had them for like, like it was a while ago. Johnny gave me like there was two Clone Wars episodes that they made into a DVD, and they were like super really like well done animation wise. Uh huh. And I love I watched those like five times a day. They were so good. Like Dang. I loved them. See, I, I haven't watched I haven't watched the Clone Wars all the way through yet. I need to. Like that's a good, gonna be a thing I do. Nice. It's a good time to do it. <laughs> you want to get slow. I know, dude. When I'm all in the same Oh yeah. Oh, because you can. But I think uh, um, the Matrix Matrix movies were pretty cool. And then we recorded some Matrix uh, Matrix stuff for late game night. Oh uh, yeah, it was that yeah. uh, Unreal Engine Five demo. Yeah, check that out. That was really cool. Like when we were when we were playing that. That's what really blew me away as far as like graphics and what video games can do. Like, I mean, it's it just is it's incredible like what they can do now. So I think um, uh, it's a pretty, a pretty awesome setup there. But and especially because like they, like they let anybody use it, right? And Unreal Engine Five, it's uh, free to use. Uh, yeah. Or you can do like there's like a paid version, I'm sure. Um, no, I think it's for yeah. free. Huh. I love that. It's freaking awesome. Because they, uh, I watched a uh, a trailer for the new uh, Modern Warfare Two. 
Uh, it's a new, newer Call of Duty that's coming out. That's pretty awesome. But the, uh, but, like, that one is crazy clear. Like, crazy clear, uh, like, graphics and everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how much more you can get, like, on just a TV. Because 4K is crazy. Because isn't that, isn't 4K stand for, like, 4,000 uh, megapixels or whatever uh, per it, inch or something like that? It's like a... The resolution. Right, right. So, like, like really freaking clear. 4K is a lot of... That's very clear. And Unreal Engine 5 is, like, built for that. So, like, what's it going to... Like, what are we going to be able to see next? Like, are we going to smell uh, we, the we, movie? Or are we going to, like... like? Well, I mean, I think, we, the, I think we already have 8K. Well... Yeah. I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. I feel, I feel like we're getting closer to, like... Uh, Matrixy stuff, VR stuff, augmented reality stuff. But Hayden did bring up a really good point about like uh, how if we do like too much augmented re augmented reality, people are gonna like hurt themselves. It's like when Pokemon Go first came out. Yeah. <laughs> people like running into. Remember other the people's... time when Pokemon Go came out? Everybody actually had fun interacting yeah. with each other. Exactly. Like like it was like everyone went outside for like the first time in forever. Like, and, that, and this was before the pandemic. It was. Like, which is, like, freaking crazy. Like, I mean, when did it come out? Like, 2015? 2016? Right? Uh, definitely before the pandemic. Yeah, it was in the 20-teens. But, um, I don't know. I think, uh, um, yeah, but I think Peyton did bring up a really good point. Like, who would hurt themselves? How would you stop someone from hurting themselves doing, like, uh, augmented reality? Unless you could... Uh, unless you could design the game with a safety buffer and built into it. So you've got, um, um, like, all kinds of, uh, um, like, like I said, if you had the, a game that was building itself constantly, right, that was, uh, like, designing itself around your world as you moved through it, you could create a safety buffer on that. Uh, on, the. Uh... Well, on, on what in like, like augmented an, reality? Yeah, yeah, because um, like 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 people were saying, the the safety thing would be huge because people would hurt themselves all the time. Like someone runs into a tree, your video game just became really real. Oh, no. I'm sorry. What was it falling? Did I not turn it? No, oh, no, I did. That's still pretty loud. It's just loud, apparently. Yeah, it's uh, just uh, just some some loud uh, loud choiry music. No, but I think uh, um. As far as, as far as that goes, it's just gonna get too, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's gotta go augmented reality before we go like full like meta or virtual like type, like reality type stuff. That'd be so cool though, right? Hmm. I'd hook myself up to the internet. I mean, imagine that. All the world's uh, information available right there to your brain at any time, just download it. I think about that, Tanner. You get a, uh, like, I don't know. Th this might sound like something uh, I would say in, uh, in uh, on late game night. Uh huh. I wouldn't want people going to my mind and then just make like Rule Thirty Four stuff out of it. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But, like, and that's the thing is like, um, because uh, a lot of people, I don't know. I've been uh, I've been looking into like this whole like there's the whole AI debate, right? Like you have artificial intelligence. Everyone seems to think that that artificial intelligence will inevitably destroy humanity at some point. Ah, dodged it. Got him. But, um, I don't think so. Like, I mean, I get it. Like, some people say that you could, uh, what's it called, program in so it doesn't destroy humanity kind of thing. But I feel like people basing their opinions on artificial intelligence off of, like, the Terminator... Like, I mean, that's just a negative way to look at it, just in general. But, um, like, um, because there's that, what is the, uh, the event horizon? I can't remember what it's called. The singularity. That's what, that's what people would call it. Like, the singularity? Yeah, yeah. So, like, the point when, um, a computer or the internet itself becomes self-aware and become, and becomes, like, an artificial intelligence and just what what kind of difference that would make in the world. Because imagine um, uh, an artificial intelligence being able to solve problems that humans can't. 
right? It's just constantly learning and having millions and billions and even billions of data points, like of people who are connected to that internet, to that network or whatever, to gather information from. And that's something that I, because uh, um, you have like, um, I mean, you bring up rule 34, right? So yeah, bring that up I don't want to talk about what oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, you're right, right, right. I, I'm, I'm, all, I'm already that. like hovering my foot over the line in the sand. Right, right. But um, you already get that kind of thing with uh, bots. Like, um, I mean, people use those to buy consoles, right? Like we know that they use, they create a bot that'll buy consoles and then, then immediately post them on a different site to spend, to charge more for that console, next gen consoles kind of thing. So in demand services, you get chat bots that are like, uh, like if you go down in a, in like a comment section on, on uh, Instagram or Facebook or, or even on YouTube, you got like tons of chat bots, especially for like verified accounts. So like just a system that does that automatically, it's kind of a, kind of a freaky setup. Like, like what the heck's going on there? Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just bizarre. Um, uh, I think that, you know, eventually, and here's, here's my dystopian future, uh, prediction. Okay. I think that, um, humans are not going to create it. We're not going to create, uh, an artificial intelligence. I think it's going to create itself. Right, life uh, finds a way, right? Like, I honestly think that, like, that's going to be the case. Just because as far as the, um, um, like, the internet goes, it kind of does its own thing anyway, right? And it's not necessarily input from human beings that does it, right? Like, you have, uh, you have filters, right, that, that go through and, like, filter content, um, targeted ads that go through and, like, will send you that stuff automatically. You have these different uh, data points that are being collected by by companies to like sell your data and, and sell you products, services, whatever that might be. But I feel like eventually all that information is going to turn into something, right? And I feel like the artificial intelligence won't be created; it'll be born, right? Like, and that's and that's kind of a kind of a crazy thought. How a, a technological system will become. Uh, and and humans feeling like and thinking that we can control it is what's going to be the biggest scare for people because we won't be able to. And we, it kind of like um, the the closest uh, what's it called the the closest similarity that I can think of would be um, like uh, you know the um, uh, let's see the Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh yeah so you you know that kind of the part like like about a quarter of the way into the movie where uh jarvis and uh oh and no are kind of enough. like talking to each other <sighs> no wait wait four oh no i'm one i'm one card short for red oh can i uh work on the green right now oh no i have to oh i have to get that one red first gotcha Damn. 